Hey everybody, it's Rash and I know, I know you're shocked. You're shocked that I just popped up in your Instagram feed or on YouTube because I'm posting this in, in both places. But yeah, I'm doing a video. It's not a card of the week video, it's something else. But first off, I want to say thank you for sticking with me because my schedule has been hellacious. It is getting better. Uh, I must say that in October, I will start doing readings again, probably the second week of October. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter, go ahead and do that or follow me on Instagram because I'll make the announcement then. And when I do start back doing readings, I'm not going to do like 20 or whatever. I'll probably have space for five, maybe 10. But if you're interested in getting a reading from me, please sign up for the newsletter or just make sure you're following me uh, on Instagram and I will, uh, I'll post that. So why am I doing this video though? If I'm not, it's not the card of the week. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw where I visited the final resting place of Hilmoth Klint. And she is a, or was a Swedish artist who may have been the first abstract painter before Kandinsky. There's been a lot of you know, discourse about that. I'm not going to get into it, but she was an artist and a spiritualist and she used her art. She said she was channeling these entities and she would do this with a group called, it's called the five and it's Defem, I believe in, in Swedish. And what they would do, and again, this is like back in the, the I think the early 1900s, they would get together, they would do a prayer session, they would meditate, they would read, chap uh, read verses from the New Testament, and or chapters from the New Testament, um, and, and then they would do a seance. And during that seance, they would channel uh, these entities that were going through them to speak to us. And these messages would be transferred or delivered through artwork. And Hilmoth Klint is like the most famous one to come out of this group. And she had this stipulation that her work could not be shown until, I believe, 25 years after her death. And she died, I believe, in 1944. And her reason was that, you know, humankind was not ready for the messages that were being represented or being um, uh, the messages that were being delivered. I have just given you a very short summary of, of this and I, I beg you to read up on her. I'm going to do a little bit more research. I, I actually saw a show featuring her work maybe about five years ago at the Louisiana Museum, which is right outside of Copenhagen. I believe they had another show not too long ago at the Guggenheim. And, you know, her work was on t-shirts and I think they did a rug and they did all this stuff and everybody, it's like her work is so cool. Personally, I think we're missing the point. We are fo focusing so much on the artwork that we've sort of, gotten away from trying to understand the message that the entities that Clint and her, um, that Clint and her uh, counterparts were trying to relay to us. But that's another story and I'll probably do a couple of blog posts uh, on this as soon as I get my head together. But the reason why I wanted to do this video was because it's Monday and I um, actually, I have to thank my partner for prompting me to buy this book. It's called Notes and Methods, Hillmouth Clint. And it contains um, her sketches from her notebooks and also some of the channelings that she and the group Defem did. And my partner was the one that found this, what I'm about to read. And because it's Monday and sometimes, at least for me, Mondays can be kind of rough. Sunday nights are kind of rough, but Mondays can be sort of like, oh my gosh, here's the beginning of the week. Um, I wanted to read just one page out of this, this, this book that apparently this message was, was channeled. 
and my partner found it and he said, you know, this is why, this is why you had to buy this book. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but just give it a listen. Again, this is what Hilma and her group channeled. And this is the message from the entities. It was like five entities. I can't remember the names, but again, I'll probably do a couple of blog posts, but here we go. Now the, the intro to this says, these four loose sheets were found slipped into the notebook of the five. That's the group I was talking about in which the preceding drawings appear. The drawings are in the book, but you know, you can find those anywhere. The interesting thing is that they say that it is not known to whom this is addressed. But again, this is a channeled message and somebody needs to hear this. I know I needed to read it, honey. If you're watching, thank you for pulling this out and, and reading it to me as if I'm about to start, I'm gonna start reading it to all of y'all out there. But it really, it really got to me. So listen to this. And this is a message from the spirits. September 16th, 1903. You are bewildered by what we have told you, but the phenomenon we are trying to explain is truly bewildering. What is this phenomenon, you ask? Well, beloved, it is that which we want to call the secret growing. How often have we heard you say that everything is futile, that nothing comes of all your labors? Yet like amorphous buds, your endeavors sprout in all directions. You see, everything is formless and you forget that this is a sign of life. Gradually, the formlessness takes on more precise contours and the steadily growing roots feed an ever stronger plant, which will one day explode with an abundance of leaves and flowers. You know this is so, but you must perceive this knowledge with such vividness that you dare to build on it. You have to feel with certainty that even the smallest effort to grow in goodness leaves a clear trace inside you. When you do not see an outer result, this must not discourage or tire you in your efforts. For just as invisible hands help and tend every plant on this green earth, so every budding sprout of goodness is tended and shaped and protected by invisible powers. And when the time comes, your eyes will open and you too will see the beautiful plant that grew in secrecy, the product of your noble endeavors and your pure intentions. Accept our account as a greeting from us so that you shall never tire when all seems lost. Happy Monday.